What's up YouTube, it's Dennis Films. Today's video is on color correcting and color grading. And I'm gonna show you how I do it in Premiere Pro. Most of the time I'm shooting music videos. If you've seen it in the past, if you haven't, go check it out. Now I'm gonna show you how I color grade S-Log2 footage. Now I got four scenarios for you. So hopefully this will help y'all. And if you also have any questions, comment below and I'll be happy to answer. So let's get started. So this is an old music video guys and as you can tell and maybe you might not be able to tell the white balance is off now you can see in the back that the sun's hitting and up here in the foreground or the subject it is not there's not warmth anywhere in it and with it as being s-log 2 footage it's flat as hell so let's fix the white balance real quick i'm gonna go to temperature bring up that warmth a little bit say 27.6 a little bit more of oh, 30 that looks good now we're gonna go to contrast because s log 2 has absolutely no contrast we're gonna bump that up mm, 40 40 will work we'll start right there now the first thing I like to do after contrast is bring down the blacks just a tad just so we can get a little bit more detail now Metric scopes evenly lit. Now let's go to saturation. Now, a baseline I keep at 120 on saturation. You know, I don't like things oversaturated. Then the cinematic look is pretty much gone. So we're gonna go to curves. Nope, hold up. Let me just say that to me, this is pretty much color corrected and now I would move on to color grading which I'd go to the color wheels go to shadows let's bring down that into the teals oh yeah doesn't look good does it but we're about to fix that so then we go to midtone this is how you get the skin uh, the skin tones correct bring it up to the warmth yeah a little bit of orange oh yeah I like it I like it a lot now normally, I keep it simple, but sometimes I'll change colors, like the greens to yellows. But in this scenario right here, I would not change the greens to yellows because we also got a green railing and we want to keep that green. Now, let me boost the exposure to two, bring the highlights down a little bit, a little bit less, say 1.6. And then let's go to the tint, put a little red in it, just so we can bring a little bit of this sky. You now it was sunset, so the sky sometimes has a little pink in it. That looks good to me. You know, um, I want to put a little bit more contrast. So I'm going to boost the contrast to 56. Make that even 56. And that looks good. Now I do want to go 0 0.2 on the exposure. Let's see what we're working with. Yeah. Oop. Save that for later. It looks good. And sorry on the playback. It is slowing my computer down. Let's bring it down there. Ooh. Nope. I don't want to lose that much quality. Now, from what I'm looking at, it looks good. I really like it, especially from before. Let's check that out. Big difference, big, big difference. Looks good, I like it. Now let's move on to the next clip. Now the next clip is from the same music video. This is just B-roll. And I'm going to apply a LUT to it. So I'm gonna go to Creative, Browse. I'm gonna go to the DF LUT. Now the DF LUT is the Dennis Films LUT that I gave out free on my S-Log2 color grade test, which you can go download. And look at that, that looks good. All right, now the elementary scopes looks good. I do want to bring up the exposure a little bit because it does seem a little dark. Uh, let's go 0.2, that looks good. Contrast is good on it. Now the Dennis Films LUT, which I will also put in the link below, is really meant, when I created the LUT, I was, it was a during the day shoot, 
you know, white balance, 5500 uh, Kelvin. So it's really meant for that. You can use it in low light. I've used it in low light. I actually use it on a lot of projects. So you're good on that. It's very versatile. Um, this is really not the best example because it kind of just laid on perfect. And I didn't use this LUT for this video, which is an old video and it's on my YouTube channel if you want to go look at the original. But we'll add something to it. We'll add a little matte to the shadows. So you're going to add a, a marker on the curve. We're going to bring up the blacks. So get that fade right about here. And that looks good. I like that. I mean, it's super simple. I mean, there wasn't much I could do to this footage. So we'll move on to the next. Okay, this is from a commercial shoot that I did recently. I'm gonna add, let's see, Dennis Film LUT to this one. I really don't use any other LUTs. Um, I'll color grade it myself if I don't use that LUT. So, um, as you can tell right off the bat, Super dark, too dark. So we're gonna bring up this exposure. Let's go to 0 0.3. Uh, still too dark. I wanna bring up the shadows a little bit. Looking good. Let's see, she doesn't have that harsh shadow anymore on her face. Let's check and see what it looks like before and after. Big difference. Big, big difference. Looks excellent. Okay, guys. I'm a big fan of fades, so we're gonna go back to curves. Add a little fade to it. Place your marker right there. And lift up those blacks. Uh, just a hair. Let's go back to basic correction. Bring down those blacks. So we have something to lift up. Okay. Uh, we'll keep this one clean because it does look better clean. And so far, so good. The skin tones are good. Now I know me applying this LUT to these two pieces of footage is not the best ideal, but I do not save a lot of footage from other shoots. And this is what I had to work with. So I kept it with that. Now the fourth clip I'm gonna color grade, I'm gonna color grade from scratch. So, oop, let me adjust side now this is just a little mess around clip testing out the a6500 um, let's get started on this the white balance is good I know I shot that correctly so we're gonna go to contrast first thing I do add contrast that looks good Put a little blacks in it we'll boost it the saturation 120 those greens a little bit green. I don't want them too green though. Uh, look at the little metric scopes. Looking good, looking good. I really go off eye. I do look at the little metric scopes, but I really just go off preference and just look at it um, and see what I think looks good. And then I'll have little metric sc scopes reinforce what I think. And if it doesn't, then I'll, I'll make adjustments to it because, you know, can't really scopes doesn't really lie <laughs> so now I'm gonna go to color wheels I'm gonna go back to shadows bring it all the way down to the teals now it doesn't look good and this is not how it's gonna look so you gotta go to mid tones this is really get those skin tones to pop so we go to mid tones bring up the oranges much better that's more accurate well I can't really show you this is something I always do and always mess up on. Instead of color grading to the adjustment layer, I'll forget and then click on the clip. It does happen. We're just gonna roll with it. So, looks good though. Look good though. So, um, there's too much green in it. Tint up to 9.2. This is what it looked like before. You see his skin is just got that green tint so we're gonna bump it to 9.2 again we, boom looks good maybe add a little warmth into it so I'm gonna go to color wheel let's also go to highlights get those whites white 
There we go. Midtones a little bit warm. Now this is something, this is definitely a clip I'll add fade to. I'll give it that vintage look. Now, still got the, there we go. Let's bring the warmth in just a little bit. Let's bring that back down. There we go. Let's go to curves. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down blacks. There we go, and curves. Let's see, highlights just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna add a fade to it. So you can see right here in this tree line, you can see that fade right in the blacks. No fade, fade, no fade, fade. It really gives off that vintage look, and I really like that. This looks good so far. Now on the ball, let's see, it looks like a red, maybe a little orange in it. I want to boost the saturation a little bit on the red. So we got a color wheel, check that out, there we go. I'm not a big fan of super saturated images, so I like to keep it, you know, simple, realistic, and also, you know, the cinematic feel to a little bit of warmth. And that's about it. I think we're done. This looks good. I'm happy with it. Oh, nope. We gotta fix one thing. Sorry, guys. Doing this as we go along. So, on the highlights over here, this is supposed to be white. You see, you know, the red stripes, and then you got these white. Yeah, it's dirty. It's supposed to have a little more white in it, not that warm. So, we're gonna tie lights right here under the color wheel, bring it down to the blues. And that's a lot better. There we go. All right, guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope this helped. If it did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And if you didn't like this video, comment below what could be better. Instead of giving a thumbs down, just give me some constructive criticism and let me know and I'll try my best to improve. So y'all have a great day. Keep creating. Peace.